Hey folks, today we'll understand the nested routing feature provided by React Router Dome. So actually, you know, I was making an app. This was the app. And uh, while making this app, I got to know about this feature and I found it interesting. So I thought, yeah, like, why not? Let's make a video over it, no? So I made a very small app just for you guys to understand this feature very clearly. So here it is. It's a very simple app. This is the first page. The which only has a single button profile let's quickly go over it then uh i'll i'll show you how this feature works no okay so yeah this is yeah so these are the routes first we have the home route and there is nothing just a simple simple button the profile button that you could see here when i click over it you we get to this page the profile page where you can see three buttons details followers and following okay so yeah here you can see when we go to profile which profile component is rendered and profile component you can see three buttons three links actually no details followers and following and uh, uh, when i click on details this details uh, button i i'll be directed to the details page when i click on the followers i'll be directed to the followers page and so on for the following link okay so on the detail page there is not much just uh the information the detail of the user and the three buttons again let me show you what do i mean when i click on details you can see these three buttons are being also rendered and this user info information and on the followers link also the, these three buttons are like constant and this info changes these this list of names is changing okay and when i go to following again these three buttons are constant and we can see that this uh, list of names changing okay so yeah here it is so you can see that this thing this div this div which you which is returned by this uh, profile function is being reused again and again no because we want the upper section to be constant no see see yeah so that is what is happening but this is not a very good practice no because there is a principle called dry which says don't repeat yourself so yeah it's very true uh wherever possible we should avoid repetition no and here and one thing all one thing more here this is a very simple kind of code no this code might be very bulky with with the many event listeners many functions api calls and all so this in this example this is a very uh simple code which has only three buttons no that is why it's not much but still we should not repeat ourselves no so yeah and you can see this div is being copy and pasted in all of these four components okay uh so like you might say that uh, we don't have to copy paste it Rajat. we could simply export this profile function and uh, import it here profile function and simply use this profile component here but that is also kind of repetition no so it's again not a good practice okay so let us uh, achieve this achieve the same result that we are doing right here that you can see here like on clicking these buttons this uh, lower section changes and the upper section remains constant and uh, you can see this thing changes the url also changes the route also changes every time no okay so two things are changing the route is changing and the lower section changes the upper section which contains three buttons remains constant so let's achieve this let's try to achieve this feature using uh, the nesting feature provided by react router dome it's a very interesting feature and very simple one you can grab it very quickly so let's first remove this repetition no Let's remove this repetition. Okay. So what we want is, uh, we want the upper section to remain as it is, although it is not, not there in the respective component. So as you can see, uh, I want, when I click on detail, you can see this upper section uh, goes away. But I want this to be there still, although it's not here in the component, no? So let's first remove this repetition then i'll show you how we can achieve this using react router dome there is a component 
provided by the react outer dome actually for this nesting the component is called outlet no don't worry i'll just implement it then you can you will be like very clear about this concept and yeah i use this thing in my e-commerce app and found it interesting so i thought yeah why not let's make a video over it so yeah here it is we have removed this repetition from uh, all all the three buttons the three like this all the three components detail followers and following and in the profile obviously it is there so yeah because yeah we want to navigate from there only so in the profile it is there but we have removed now you can see but, but now if i go to any of this these links now uh the section which is the constant which contains these three buttons will no more be seen so i cannot navigate further if i after clicking on any of these buttons so let's say I click on following but now i cannot navigate because the upper section is not there so let's solve this problem using using the nested routing feature provided by react outer dome so for that to happen what we have to do is so so there are two things no there is in the nested routing there are two things one is the parent component and another is the child components which one is the parent component which one is the child component parent component is the component which is constant which is not changing and child components are the components which are changing so here in this thing in our simple app you can see you cannot see parent component as of now but yeah now you can see so in this app this this uh, these three buttons makes the parent component okay and uh, below the parent component you can see three child components that are changing as per the uh, link i am clicking on or as per the button i am clicking on okay so yeah so so the component which is constant is parent component so i think it is clear so here this profile section this profile route is the parent component you can see this profile route is the parent component which renders the profile component no so it is rendering the profile component which contains these three buttons these three links only no so this is the parent component now what we have to do is instead of uh, using this self closing tag no we'll expand it out and use and write it like this hmm. okay so yeah we we'll like write, write it like this this is the parent component and we'll just simply cut paste all our child components inside of parent components we don't have to expand the child components we can uh, they can remain in the self closing tag format only no issue there so yeah here it is now 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 is the like this is the uh what should i say uh, this is the first step that you have to do no so i i, I write it here first step like uh, wrap wrap the child components inside parent parent component parent component kaun sa hota hai Oh, sorry this is hindi but yeah no issue the component which is constant is the parent component okay so yeah so let me just comment it up so this is the first step no this is the first step so now what we have to do is we have to import as i told you earlier we use this outlet component provided by react outer dome in order to implement nested routing no so okay so i don't have to write this again i could simply say outlet here outlet no yes now now like listen to me very, very carefully no now what i want is i want this constant which can which uh, the constant component the parent component which contains these three links or these three buttons and below this and below this component i want the child components child components may be above the parent component may be below the parent component or like anywhere on the page it doesn't matter but in our scenario the child components are below the parent component no so 
uh, in the same flow we have to write the outlet component that is being provided by react router dom so what we'll do is first i'll wrap this whole thing inside a div so yes Okay, now what I'll do is I'll simply write uh, outlet here. Like I'll tell you what is happening, but let's first see if things are working or not. No. So now if I go to details, like see, it's it's so easy. I, I just did two things. Two things. The thing number one is I expanded the parent component the route tag expanded and uh, wrapped the child components inside the uh, route of the parent component that's it and second thing i just uh, use the outlet component provided by react router dom and now you can see this is working very elegantly no no issues here now how no how, like, like what is happening here let me just explain it out so listen very very carefully this is the this is very key part so what what happens is what this outlet does is it sees okay now i am on the profile page when we are on the profile page then uh when we are on this uh not profile page but we are on this profile path when we are on this profile path it ignores this outlet component is being ignored okay now when we are on this path on this path slash profile slash detail this outlet component simply renders detail component this outlet component think it this way this outlet component is being converted into the detail component okay as simple as that and when we are on this path slash profile slash followers this outlet component is being transformed into this followers component so instead of this outlet component imagine we have this followers component here and when we are on this route slash profile slash following uh in which scenario this following component should be rendered what actually happens is this outlet component is being again replaced by this following component so yeah so in this way like uh whatever the html css or like whatever the flow of your react is wherever the outlet component is there as per the url the component changes as per the url whatever the url as per the url the component changes and the respective component is being rendered no so for example like let me just uh, tell you again when i go to this link instead of so uh, this component should be rendered so yes this component will be rendered but this component will be rendered here instead of outlet imagine here uh, detail is written no detail component is here similarly when i am on this url this component this element should be rendered so this element will be rendered but this element will be rendered not uh, will not take the whole page but will be rendered instead of this outlet component and the similar thing will happen for this uh, this path also slash profile slash following so i think that is very very clear now so yeah it is that simple no so once you try it out it will be like you'll understand more now what i want is okay the user clicks on this profile button this constant component should be there but below that constant component the details should also be shown on the very first page let me reiterate what I wanted to happen. I am doing this so that you could understand this uh, nested thing better. So what I want is when the user clicks on this profile button, this constant component should be there which contains these three links. But below this constant component, some like detail component should also be rendered. No, on the on this very first. Uh, so what should I say? On this very first click. No, so user should not. Uh, this is not a very good practice no user comes on profile and then he has to click again on details to show the details okay so for the very first time when the user clicks on this profile button the detail component should also be rendered below this constant component no so let's do that so for that what we have to do is we could simply say okay so yeah we could say that no 
it's easy when user comes on profile the profile component will be rendered that you understand and when the user is on profile the detail component will also be rendered now you will say how that is possible that is possible because this detail component is kind of a nested component no so it will take place of this outlet let me reiterate this detail component is a nested component so it will take place of this outlet component no so uh, they will not interfere with each other let's see if things are working as i intended them to work so if i go to go to this button this profile button see when i'm clicking on the profile this is being uh, rendered detail component is also being rendered along with the parent component now okay but now there is a problem when i go to the actually the detail uh, this uh, when i click on this details button i'm going on this link but now this link no more exists no so this link no more exists so what i'll do is i'll simply say when i click on this details uh, details button or this details text i should be directed to here only so now you could see when i go to profile then i go to details followers following details and yeah it's working fine so yeah so that's all about nested routes i hope you understood it before you go one more thing uh within the nested routing no we could do more nesting what do i mean by that what 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 do i mean by that is uh here we have this parent component which contains three buttons now what what should happen is in details we could also have like four four or five or six or like the 10 or like any number of nesting we want for example in details there there might be a uh, name like first name last name address and things like that so this is nesting and the nesting we could also achieve that using this outlet component so yeah it uh, yeah it makes our app look looks good and our code looks good and uh, it's very easy to understand no so i prefer this thing i prefer this nesting no i prefer this outlet component this outlet component so that's all in this video if you like this video i'll really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel so go ahead hit that subscribe button and we'll meet next time